Do you both write instrumental stuff? Would you ever like sit down and write a piece without like song structure? I'd, um, I've tried loads, but for me, I'd, I'd, I'd really, really struggle. And uh, the same thing, like, um, listening to... I, I, I listen to classical music quite a lot and, and have done for ages now, but listen to, like, anything under the umbrella of pop. I, I never ever do that, like, mm. as, as instrumental music. I've always got to have, like, some kind of some story or, or just lyrics or... Yeah, just some... I I I really struggle, like when I'm trying to write so I really struggle holding my own attention for more than like 30 seconds or something even if it sounds really nice I always end up being this, especially like on like folky drop tune guitar I always end up being way too um like droney <laughs> kind of sound you see what I mean so yeah, yeah it, I I really I find it hard to like pull out a melody and, and have a shape that's going to carry something for like three or four minutes without it getting boring just th- uh, obviously people do it amazing but for me I, d- I can't read really it I haven't worked that one out yet but yeah hmm. I guess like do you ever try and uh, take a piece that you've written with vocals and then make it an, an instrumental piece that could be an interesting way of doing it uh, yeah yeah definitely like playing uh, bits of the melody yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll <laughs> let you know how it goes <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I've just I've tried that before and it was mm-hmm. I mean it wasn't great but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Do, would yeah. you write from? Would you set yourself challenges like that with your writing? Would you? Would you say like, um, taking this instrumental part and and just totally trying to rearrange it for voice or, or vice versa? Do you do? Do you set yourself like little goals and and things like that? Not enough. Like, yeah. That was kind of why I was asking you guys. Right. That yeah. Like that's something that I'd like to be able to do is like write mm-hmm. a full heart piece or like yeah a full orchestral piece, not like yeah. you know, but like arrange for like more instruments and be able to do that I'd be a bit more versatile with that mm-hmm. so yeah if you have any yeah. tips on your yeah, explorations um martin simpson's amazing for that and Stuart mccallum's amazing for that as well like if you listen to his tunes he put up some on over lockdown just on his facebook and stuff and he actually talks about like his process for it and a lot of times it'll be like driven by a, a technique or the tunings in or, or whatever so it'll be like um here's a melody and it's it's purely like this kind of pattern thing and and here's how i'm going to develop it and so when he breaks it down it, it was really really good to watch because like oh, okay that mm. does make more sense and then i tried it and i was like oh it's really hard <laughs> 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 so yeah i think he's he probably a, he's a bit of a wizard yeah, yeah. He's, he's just amazing he, he's um a big inspiration for me in, in terms of to keeping that stuff interesting because it that mm. that's the hardest thing it's I've, i find it quite natural to come up with stuff but it always feels like there's nothing like grabbing and you know obviously there's like technique things that especially on guitar on, on guitar trying to pull out a melody and a chord progression at the same time it's just like absolutely brutal yeah yeah, yeah. sort of thing you don't you it, it sounds um really simple when it's done really well and then when you the more you break it down and the more you realize like all the you know you've got like five digits and all the internal dynamics between th- in, in every voice in the chord and when you when you don't have it down it's just it just doesn't happen it doesn't like flow or, or feel right to listen to um yeah so yeah i i, I think all, all those things is like with regards to writing is um it it becomes as complicated as you want it to be so something that can be really really simple can end up being like beautifully complicated just in terms of how you like execute and stuff mm. is i mean i can only really talk about guitar as well in that case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no that's nice though yeah one thing i did notice with your songwriting mm. is it it seems kind of not like bitty but it's, in, it's interesting in that way because it kind of you, you you sort of repeat motifs but then it you kind of jump when you sort yeah. of go in between sections it almost feels not separate but like it kind of goes in the way that you almost don't expect it to mm. in terms of when you're putting that together is that like yeah how, how does that sort of happen i think that stems back to that teenage song that changed time and right. that like i think i do still and that oh, this also feeds into this sort of writing a whole piece of music mm-hmm. as is without melody and lyrics is that i think a lot of the time the thing that ties those sections together tends to be lyrical content and if you take that away it'd be like whoa that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's something I'm. I, I like. I, I like that it has that aspect, but I think it's actually, 
it could be worked upon. I mean, I, I, I think I think it's great the way yeah. it, I, I agree. Like the, the 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 melody and the lyrics does glue it together, and it, it's just yeah, it's just an interesting. It never goes where I think it's gonna go. Yeah, which I is cool. I like that, but I not in like a <laughs> oh, why have you gone there? I don't <laughs> like. Yeah. I think it does that out of like a uh, having so many ideas and not not knowing how to combine them. Okay. But I do think that I quite like to th- them to have a little more fluidity, um, mm. or be like extra janky. And like, just make no sense. Is it the way it goes? Yeah. <laughs> do you, Do you find yourself um, getting quite like self-critical about your general writing? Uh, do you, Do you like listen back a lot and and kind of re-edit and re-edit, or do you get better at just like letting it go and being like, "Cool, that song's done." I haven't listened to this since it was mastered, mm-hmm. so I didn't listen to it when it was released. Um, I just find it quite hard. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, I, I, I do. It's weird, isn't it? So I like listen to it with like a mixing head on and, and be like in the headphones like you know this level needs to go up. Um, Tim, who produced it, um, was like really attentive to like all the little details. So it, like was became like listening to it was like a factual thing, mm-hmm. and then I haven't listened to it with like a, a completely subjective mind, and I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think by the time because the process is so long. Yeah. By the time you get to the finished product, you don't you don't want to listen to it. No. Even though you, no. you might think it's good, it's yeah, you've mm-hmm. you've heard probably heard these songs however however many times. Yeah. And like you said, they're like four or five years old, so it's like mm-hmm. For sure. And there's you'll always I, I do this, like you'll always pick up on something it's like, Oh, I wish I'd done that, I wish yeah. I'd changed that. Exactly. So you've got to know where to just put it down and just be yeah. like, That's yeah, done. It was that thing that um, Joni Mitchell said in an interview that was like, the interviewer asked her, why do you not listen back to your songs, but you hang all your paintings up in your house? And she was like, I just can't, like no matter how old it is or how new it is, I can't not want to change one thing. Whereas like with painting, she was like, I feel like it's done when it's done. Like as soon as you finish it, it's done. Right. Which is funny. Like I wonder why we all have that, the same opinion that it's mm. never finished. It's always moving. Yeah, it's because um, like music is uh, like a, a painting. You pretty much like perceive them in one go. So obviously, when you're looking at it and you're like going through it all, then that takes a little bit of time. So there's that side of it. Music's a really, really weird and different art form because um, you only take every little moment. So in like a, a four minute song, like each individual moment every like split second that goes by there could be something in that they want to change and that's the secret whereas on a painting uh it might be minimal and it there's not this like weird like silence to film yeah if you if you see or, uh, or if something really really simple is happening in a song and, and you want to to mess around with that in a painting like the simple thing you're not going to just like add more paint and keep on going or, or try and add more detail you don't have to that's so true. It, it's so much more obvious with with paintings or like drawings or anything like that it, it's so much more obvious like where the kind of silence or the blank spot should be and where you're going to fill it whereas with a song it's really hard not to like yeah. throw everything out do you find especially writing on your own I always find it's like you you jump in and you want to just like fill the silence everything yeah yeah and, and it's maybe easier with a band because you can kind of maybe hold it a little bit better and you can like feel when other people are, are holding back is um r- trying to write a slow song <laughs> where, yeah. where like the the yeah. phrasing but there's so many beautiful songs do that where like the phrasing just kind of comes and goes and the, there might be um 30 seconds without any vocals or, or whatever like or, or the verse might um the the vocals might hold off for like the, the first half and you have this kind of like call and response thing mm. and it, that's beautiful it, it's really hard not to jump in isn't it and fill it's, the space it yeah. takes balls isn't it mm-hmm. is that like like what's it space grooves harder than sound <laughs> thing yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. and i guess the other thing as well is that like a painting you're never going to paint it again whereas like as gigging musicians we're going to play play a yeah. song again and again and again and it's yeah. going to change every time yeah so you're going to be like i guess it, it moves it grows every time you play it doesn't it yeah you know, hopefully I've never thought, yeah, no one sits around just doing the same painting. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 <laughs> every, but you'll just sit around jamming, <laughs> jamming the same tune over and over and that's, and that's great, yeah. That, yeah. Would, be, that would be <laughs> such an interesting, yeah. like, gigging culture but for, for artists. Yeah. 
like you love the work so much that you recreate <laughs> yeah, exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. Every, like, I'd love that. I'd yeah. go and see someone. It depends how long it takes to paint the paint. <laughs> there for like three days, so you're just like, oh, <laughs> again, <laughs> just finish it already. Yeah. But then watching the evolution of it as well, because it it, yeah. would, it would change. You would change something every time you went back to it as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the Bob Ross cool. thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice seeing the, the progress. Have you watched much Bob Bob Ross? I haven't. This is going to sound so stupid. I saw that thing um, about Kim Kardashian's daughter painting a picture of the day. Um, t- I, this is where my lockdown <laughs> <laughs> social it's media scroll like, yeah. has gone. <laughs> um, she like her daughter posted a like painted a picture that was ridiculously impressive, and right. they were like calling her Bob Ross. I was like, God, I haven't watched a Bob Ross in ages. And then I watched a Bob Ross. Nice. But I hadn't for a long time. So thanks, Twitter. <laughs> 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 what about you? <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 I went through a period of like mm. watching a lot of his stuff. Yeah. Mm. Um, he's just so relaxing. There's something about his aura that's just like... We, we were talking about it on another episode and we watched... I'd never seen... You know, he's got a little baby squirrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know he had a baby squirrel. And then, yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> so it's just I like cute <laughs> animals, calm yeah. dude, nice paintings. It's like beautiful w- hair. Beautiful mm-hmm. hair. Beautiful hair. Mm-hmm. What's not to like? Absolutely. You know, it's good stuff. Thank you for listening. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast to catch up on new episodes every week. Also, check us out on our Facebook and Instagram at Rec Rooms, where you can find out about our other exciting music series. We also have this and all our other episodes of the podcast up on our Rec Rooms YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. See you next time.